Hello friends, welcome back to our YouTube channel DS Tech Mirror. In this video, we will see how we can connect Power BI to SharePoint list, SharePoint folder and SharePoint Excel file. To begin with, I will explain you what is the difference between connecting to SharePoint list, SharePoint folder and SharePoint Excel file from Power BI. Overall, SharePoint is one data source and from Power BI, we are connecting to that. But within that, all these three methods or all these three different sources within SharePoint, the way we will connect to them would be different. So to begin with, I'll start with the SharePoint list. So let's see how we can connect to the SharePoint online list using Power BI. For that, what I'll do, I'll go to the Power BI desktop. This is my Power BI desktop. From here, to connect to the SharePoint list, what I'll say, I'll say get data, more, and I'll type SharePoint over here just to filter this data source. Now, I have three options over here. First, let's see SharePoint online list. Connect. What it will do? Over here, I have this implementation 1.0 and 2.0. To see the difference, I will expand this advanced option. And now what I'll do, I will copy the URL. I have the URL. This is my site, which I will be using. PUC site. I'll paste the URL over here. And what I have to do, I have to just remove this URL part from after underscore layouts. Till PUC it is fine. Site name. Now, you could see this view mode is disabled. The moment I shift to this 2.0, I can see this view mode. So this is the difference between the implementation of 1.0 and 2.0. I'll select 2.0 and from here I'll select the default view. This is fine. I'll say OK. Now what it will do, it will give me the list of all the SharePoint online list present in this particular site. So over here I can see different sites and for example, I wanted to see this site called city where I have stored the city uh, name. I can see ID and title. If I go to some other list, let's say uh, first FC, I'll get the data related to the that. If I go to the landing site, I can get the data related to that. So using this, I can get data from any of the SharePoint list. So for example, if I will select this very simple list called city list, Next is I can say load. Load means it will directly load the data in my Power BI. But if in case if I want to do any kind of transformation, I will select transform data. See, it is always recommended to select transform data first. So if you wanted to change the data type for the headers or for these columns, if you want to change the headers, anything you want to do, you can do that. I will give you an example. For example, if I wanted to change the data type for ID, right now this is an integer. So what I can do, I can do right click and from here change type and from here I can change it to text. So this will get changed and here you could see the, the applied steps. So, but uh, ID is an integer so let me just switch back. So I will say right click, change type and whole number. Replace current and you could see 1, 2, 3. And once this is done, I can click on close and apply. So this is a very simple list, but steps will remain the same even though if you have any large list or a complex list, steps will remain the same. Things might get changed in the transform steps. In your case, based on the requirement, you might have to transform your data. In my case, it was a very simple data, so there is no need of any much transformation. But again, transformation is not on the scope of this video. Uh, I will just cover how we can connect. So this is done, city. And just for the simplification of this particular video, I'll just rename this model. I'll say, and I will say SharePoint online list. So that we know that we have completed this one. This is done. And I will remove this learning. I do not want in this model. So I'll say delete from model. This is also done. Again, I'll go back now. I'll go back to the report view. And from here, we'll see now how we can connect to the SharePoint folder so i'll say get data more and directly i will type sharepoint and this time i will select the sharepoint folder now the scenario is in my sharepoint folder i have couple of excel files and i want to get data from them let's see how we can do that again sharepoint url which i have already copied in the first case i will click on ok and this should give me 
the folder list present in my SharePoint site. Over here, you could see there's a folder path. Now, if you want from a specific folder path, first thing is you have to filter this out. So, do not click on this combined button immediately. No. And I would say do not click on the load button as well. Every time, just go to the transform data, analyze your data and then load it. So, what we will do first, we will transform this data. I'll click on transform data. And this will get open in Power Query Editor. And over here, just see. First, go to the folder path. And if I just check, and if I just see this, it is getting data from multiple folders. In my case, I want data from a specific folder. So, what I'll do, I'll uncheck everything and I will select that particular folder only because I know my folder is present inside document library and sample data last one. So, this is one thing. Now, this will get rid of all the other unnecessary folder which I do not want. And this is one transformation step. So, filter data I have done. Now, here also I could see the other things. See, I have got uh, these two Excel files, name of my Excel files present inside, and data modified and other metadata. And here I have the content. In, in your case, there could be a scenario where other files are also present in that particular folder which you do not want, then you can filter this name column as well. In my case, uh, I want all these two files because I have kept only two files. Now, next is this data. How I will get the data? Because this is just showing me the Excel file name. But I want the data present inside the Excel. How can I get that? Click on this content, which right now it is showing as binary. Click on this. And what it will do? It will combine the files. And it is establishing a connection to the Excel workbook now, which is these two. And now it will combine the data from these two particular Excel. First, it will show me the sample file, first file, and this is the data present in my first file. This is the sales record of different products. And now I'll say this is OK. Now let's see what it will do. It is determining the transformation steps. It is evaluating this uh, query. What it will do? It will combine the data from the two Excel files. Meanwhile, uh, this processing is going on. Let me show you the data present in my folder. Document library. Inside this, I have a folder called sample data. And here are my Excel file. If I click on America and I'll click on India. In America, I've got some uh, sample sales record. Same in case of India. Let's go to the Power BI desktop. Here I can see the records uh, got concatenated into one Excel file or in our case it is called query one. We can rename it. I'll rename it as SharePoint folder, which will help me to identify that. Okay, I have covered this particular scenario. Now this is also done. And here you can see I have got 10 records in both the files. So total I should be having 20 records, which is fine. Once this is done, I can say close and apply. So this is how I can get the data from SharePoint folder. So now till now we have covered SharePoint online list and SharePoint folder. Next we will see how we can get data directly from the Excel. For example, I want to get data from this America Excel only from this particular Excel. How I can do that? For that what I'll do, I'll say get data and this time I will select this web option. Import data from a web page. I will not select SharePoint or any other thing. Over here I have to type the URL of my Excel. In our case, it is stored in SharePoint folder. So, what I'll do, I'll close for now just to show you from the beginning. So, I want to get data from this Excel. So, what I'll do, I'll click on this. And from here, to get the URL, in my case, what I'll do, I'll say, I'll do this ECB menu and I'll say open, open in app. Open Excel. My data is now open in this Excel app. Now I want to get the path of this Excel file. So what I'll do, I'll go to file. I'll say info and from here I can see this copy path. I will click on this copy path. Now I've got the path. I'll go to the Power BI desktop and I'll paste it over here. Now I'll click on OK. This will not work and I'll tell you why. And you could see unable to connect. We encountered an error while trying to connect and it is saying the input URL is invalid because it ends with this web is equal to 1. Please remove. So what I'll do, I'll say edit 
and we will get rid of this. So I just wanted to show you that you have to remove this query string web is equal to one. And now this is our path. It is present inside shared documents. Folder name is sample data and Excel name is americas.xls. You can find there are multiple ways to get path to your Excel file. I just followed this particular method. I'll click on OK. And now this will give me all the data present inside this particular Excel. And you could see we have the complete data. Now this is done. So I have I had clicked on transform data. From here I can have a quick review. For example, I want to uh, change the ordering of this particular table. So I'll say product I'll move to the first position and then date I wanted to move after second last position. For example, price per unit will come over here, quantity sold, price per unit and total sales. Total sales is integer. For now, let's say I want to change it to the decimal. I'll go to the change type and I'll say decimal number because price could be in decimal also. Price per unit, again price per unit also, I'll change it to the decimal number. This is why it is important to transform your data before you load it. Quantity sold will always be integer. Laptop, all other things looks fine. I'll click on close and apply. And I can rename from here also as well as from the transformation step also. From here, I will rename as Excel file. So, guys, this is how you can connect to the different data present inside SharePoint. So, what we have covered, how we can directly connect to the SharePoint list, how we can connect to the data present inside SharePoint folder. In our case, all the data present inside the folder, all the Excel file, and how we can get the data from the excel file directly so guys that's it we have reached to the end of this video if you like this video please like and share the video and subscribe to the channel to get notification for our upcoming videos till our next video much love keep learning thank you